Freetown Farm Gardens, a Sestina by Patty Ross. There are gardens here weaved in between a road of pebbles. We were walking, Angela and I, heading toward the forest, finding a wood stage surrounded by log seats and children at play. The lush green of the trees drawing us closer, we almost missed her. An Isabella tiger moth or banded woolly bear no bigger than our thumb, creeping along mulch chips heading toward the mushroom garden. There are six gardens for eating and few others for healing all our gardens. There is much to see and do here at this free farm, a rain garden of pebbles, Wild flowers fill the space with yellow and pink petals the size of my thumb. Kiera told us a black bear was once among the black cherry trees of the forest. I would have been scared if I saw a bear nearby, but not her. My friend Angela is fearless. Nothing bothers her or ends her play. The homeschool kids have arrived and what is learning looks like play. I remember I used to make mud pies, pretending to sell them at the market garden. We both went to school in Philadelphia, but I am not as courageous as her. Near the medicinal herb spiral, I saw the racinus plant and still walking the pebbles Leaves with what seemed streaked blood overshadowed the circumstantial forest. Moving toward the plant, I held the big leaf between my finger and right thumb. Wetlands behind the herb spiral have cattails thick and thin as my thumb. And they are singing in this purposeful pond propagating as play. I never thought I would see so much on this little 6.4 acre farm and forest. Wetlands and their creeping roots sit next to the NAACP garden, where roots conjure up enslaved, moving quietly among the berm's pebbles. I think back to the woolly bear and wondering how many of her have survived the running feet of children overlooking her. While dancing to the children's garden to measure peppers by thumb and watch farm chickens peck among the pebbles for crumbs left from lunchbox sandwiches lost at play. Screams and whispers tune my ears to learning from the Grow It, Eat It garden, remembering when I first became an explorer in the red clay of the Carolina forest. All this history, all this learning carved out of this small forest. I wonder, looking at the big old oak, did you see her? Harriet, you know, all those times she passed through this land of gardens? Did she stop to rest here and lean against you, Oak, leaving her thumb print? Did those following her ask to rest in the lush, to give worry away, to play, to drink from the river Patuxent, calming heartbeats among the pebbles? It's noon. The sun reflects off the forest river and paints glitter on its pebbles that sparkle like squeals of homeschool kids out of the garden and off to play. Isabella, what a pretty name for a caterpillar, no bigger than my thumb.